This portion of the control components easel demo shows the bottom right hand temperature controller, our E5CC, along with a couple of inputs to our three color pilot device. We'll start by talking about the E5CC temp controller. This temp controller is set up to show the bright white display when powered on. We utilize the input potentiometer here to change the actual present value shown in the display. So we can go up or down and in doing so changes the output that we have set. So in this case we have a set value of 332 degrees Fahrenheit which can be changed by pressing either the down arrow or the up arrow to a certain temperature setting. At that setting as you use the input knob you will change our output state or go back to providing an output. There's one other area of changing that set point value by using the PF key. I can press the up arrow, press the PF key, and it will automatically jump me over to the next digit. So in this case, I'm going to go from the ones and press the PF key, and it takes me to the tens or to the hundreds, and in that case, I can reset the hundredths digit that quickly. Jump back to the ones by pressing it twice, take it down, and set it for 330 degrees Fahrenheit. Programming the E5CC can be done in a couple of ways. Provided with the control components demo is the communications cable. The communications cable is designed to snap into the top of the E5CC and connect to a laptop computer via USB port. Using that USB port, you can program this with our CX Thermal software or you can also upload and download programs from previous versions of the E5CC temp controller to copy them to the next temp controller in an application. Other programming can be done using the mode key. Press and hold the mode key for three seconds. Takes us into our initial setup. The IN-T is our input temperature sensor. Utilizing the data sheet and details from that allows us to properly select that input sensor, whether it would be a number six, seven, or eight input temperature sensor, or a number one, two, or three. Those inputs are provided in detail on our data sheet. The number five temp sensor is the standard uh, type K thermocouple, and that is how it will come set for this example. By using the level key, also known as the racetrack key, we can press that to get to the section of setting our uh, degrees Fahrenheit or our degrees C. In this case, we'll set it for degrees Fahrenheit. You can continue using the level key to set other functions. In this case, those should be well set. And we'll go back to operation mode by holding, pressing and holding the mode key for three seconds. The way the temp controller is set to operate is again using the input to change the process value to show our output change states from output on to output off. Also on this portion of the control components easel demo is our three color pilot device. This three color is designed to allow it to change colors depending on an input voltage. So in this case it's set for 0 to 3 volts, provides a green output. So 0 to 3 we show green. Between 3 and 7 volts we show an orange color output 
and 7 to 10 volts, we show a red color output. So that is how that is shown utilizing the I2 input on the control components easel. All of these are steps that show the temperature controller and three color pilot device using our control components easel demo. When using the control components easel demo, after showing the temp controller and the three color pilot device, we have input two potentiometer. Input two potentiometer provides a current input into the Zen. The Zen controller shows on its display the input current that that potentiometer provides to the device. So that's an area that you can show your customer also. Thank you for learning how to utilize the control components easel demo to sell to your customers.